Hey, 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 and welcome. Uh, today I wanted to show you this configurable speaker port. Now this is kind of the port that would go off the end of a do-it-yourself speaker project. Um, you can buy these pre-made, then you have to make sure you have the right diameter, uh, get them to the exact right height. Uh, with this, you can actually configure that all in uh, the program. You just open up this config.scad and it has a bunch of configuration for uh, the diameter and uh, the length and everything. And uh, it's very customizable. Uh, you can, of course, print this off in wood filament. And if you uh, do that on your 3D printer, um, it will. you can sand it, you can stain it, you can paint it uh, however you want. Um, be warned that wood filament tends to be very abrasive and it might ruin the nozzle on the printer. Um, Nozzles don't cost that much if you just kind of calculate those into your cost. You know, it, it, it's not that much. Um, otherwise, or you can try a more hardened nozzle. I don't know. I, I had to waste mine it, the first time I went through, but it went all right. Uh, if you do uh, 3D print this, you probably want to print it in that direction on the bed and then use support. Uh, that way, when you break off the support, it'll be on this bottom side and it, you, nobody will notice kind of the rough part of that there. Uh, whereas if you print it this way, all this is decorative and it won't come out looking nice. Um, big thing in this is this uh, diameter for layer function right here. Uh, this is uh, how this is actually built, is uh, kind of like if you ever played around with a graphing calculator um, you would plug the equation in and then it would come out with a line. So this, you can see that it's built up layer by layer the same way a 3D printer would do it. And it's just figuring out that for this height, it's going to be this diameter and then it just iterates up the height. Um, when you go to compile this, so you can export it to an STL, it does take a very long time to calculate all this, so just be aware of that. But It'll take a few minutes uh, if you have a halfway decent computer, even. Uh, but you can play around with the function here. Uh, so the one we have now um, kind of works for this one. Uh, we can uh, change kind of what the base is for the logarithm. If you go to like 1.5, uh, you know, it kind of flares out like that, it gets smoother. Uh, I thought three kind of looked nice. There, there's no like real strict scientific way of doing this. You just kind of play around with it and find something you like. Uh, we can mess with this and, you know, it just gets a little shorter like that. Um, or we can expand that. Just flares way out again. Uh, and this can make it, yeah, it's just kind of changing all the parameters around. And you just play with them. Um, when you uh, fix your config, to be the right size that you want. You'll probably want to play with that a little bit and find something you like. Um, anyways, that's kind of this project. It's up on Open, uh, or Thingiverse rather. Uh, you can download the OpenSCAD file off of there. I'll put a link in the description. Um, uh, please enjoy.